first step, we will take the measurements of our planner. And in this case, we have five inches and three four. Right, writing down. After, we will take from here for the from the edge, and we include the spin. And that one will be nine inch and one quarter. I don't the fabric we want to use it for this project and then on the wrong side of the fabric mark the measurement we took and add half an inch in each side for sewing the seams later after we trace the lines with our paint we're going to cut the piece we need we will take our fabric for the facing the right side and we fold there in half and press in the center to keep the line. After we can unfold it and we will place in the center the ribbon. The ribbon we have here is 18 inch, but may can be uh, more short when we end. Fold it in half and place with a pin in the center, in the top. We have here an, a small piece that is a three for two inch, and that one will be for the pen holder. I will sew in here in the sides then we will fold it in half you can press with your finger or you can use the iron after we're going to attach one and a half inch down to the top and we will place with a pin. We have two additional pieces they going inside and there are each of them a uh, three and a half and seven inch and I will sew in one size on each of them to make it nice. I already saw in the ribbon that will work as a bookmark and our loop that working as a pen holder. After we will add the two pieces we had facing the right size of the fabric with the right size of the fabric. Be careful with the size with sewing facing inside. And we do the same with the second piece. After that, we will add our third layer that's is the same size of the first one. To keep in place, we will uh, place in some pins around of our cover. And when we start to sewing, we will leave in a gap that helping us to turn inside out the fabric. If you enjoyed this project, please give a like and subscribe. And now we go into the machine. So always I like to start sewing and one of the sides we will leave the gap.
after we sewing we're going to treat our corners to make the corners look better and we had our gap here and we will get a corner the another part of the fabric and turn it inside out be patient and you can see all you ask for how wonderful piece of project it is and if you need to use it some tools to bring the corners completely out that's okay because this one looks so cute i think so this is a wonderful wonderful project uh you don't need too much uh, material and look absolutely beautiful now we're going to sewing our gap i sewed the gap and the another side to look even and now we're going to iron it and i'm very excited i want to see the final product and now we had our planner we're going to insert one part and after we're going to insert very carefully the second part and we had we can put it inside our bookmark i put a three because two we have one already two because i love to separate the page and how look it's not cute and you want to watch more videos like that you can see my daughter made a beautiful beautiful project just right there 